Hey guys, it's me Rahul and today I have an awesome list of free Android apps. So hit that like button and get ready to download some new apps. Before we jump right into the list, you guys know the deal. I have a wallpaper pack for you guys. This time there are 10 awesome wallpapers. So use the link in the description to download them all. So the first step on the list is Stitch It. The idea of this app is to make sharing notes, articles or chat conversations very convenient by stitching individual pictures or screenshots together vertically. You might be familiar with this idea because some of the OEMs actually have this feature pre-installed on their ROMs. With that being said, this app is not that convenient to use because you have to do pretty much everything manually. Next step on the list is a wallpaper app called Inswall. It is one of the most popular wallpaper apps for Android. Each wallpaper on this app is absolutely stunning. New wallpapers are added every day, so I highly recommend you to check it out. Smartwake is a simple application but a very useful one. So this app will let you do a couple of things like you can wake your device by waving your hand over the top or you can set it to wake your device when you pick up your phone. And there are also some other options like sleep in pocket and wake on notifications. The only reason why I would use this app is because of that wake on pickup feature. Be real, nobody is going to use air control option because it is not that convenient to use. Okay, the next step on the list is Nowbar apps. The idea behind this app is great. If you are wondering what this app can do, basically if you have a device with on-screen navigation bar, this app can change the background of that to anything you like. You can set it to show battery percentage or an image. If you would like to apply your own image, you need to buy the premium version and it does not require root access. Porto is a collage creator app with a very distinct UI. UI is fast and responsive, it is a well designed app with a lot of good features. You can add emojis and text as well, it is a bit buggy but other than that it is a really good app that I would 100% recommend to anyone. Next app is Dango, it is not an emoji keyboard app but it sort of acts like a plugin for your keyboard app. So I'm not a huge emoji lover slash user that is because in most situations I don't know which emoji to use. But this app solves that problem by predicting emojis while you type. For example if you type hello it will show you emojis and gifs related to the word hello and it also recommends emojis based on what your friend is saying. So overall it is a very good app. Mimicker Alarm is the alarm app I should use because I don't know about you guys but I am one of those people who set alarm every single day and stops the alarm when it go off and goes back to sleep. So this alarm app is different because you can only stop the alarm by doing a particular task. I think the idea behind this app is really good. If you're interested, check it out. Next app is Geekbench 4. It is a benchmarking app for your Android device. For those who don't know about benchmarking, it is a process in which an app evaluates performance of a device and gives you a score based on that. And you can compare the scores with others and tell which device has more performance power. Inkwire is an application that will let you share your Android device screen with someone else and they can control your device using their device. It is kind of like a mobile version of TeamViewer. It has a lot of bugs and hopefully the developers will fix them all before the official release. Opera VPN is a free unlimited VPN service from Opera. So a VPN will allow you to spoof your location, access blocked sites and much more. It is a completely free with no login or subscription required and there are no data limits. So that's been guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then definitely give a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Goodbye. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin